beautiful Red Carpet Curls royalty. Welcome back to Red Carpet Curls right here on YouTube. I am your host and the founder of Red Carpet Curls, Adrienne Monroe, also known as Queen Monroe. So let's just jump into today's video because this is one I am seeing constantly throughout the Facebook groups and we gotta clear up this misinformation for you because you know I am the science gal. I am all about the science of hair which is known as trichology. So let's get into a question I am constantly seeing and misinformation I'm constantly seeing which is the suave daily clarifying shampoo so I know this daily clarifying shampoo is super confusing to most people because we're always telling you you need a sulfate free clarifying shampoo in your regimen because co-washing alone does not work all hair needs to be clarified at least once a month and unfortunately conditioners do not contain surfactants or detergents that are strong enough to remove all forms of buildup that is why we tell you you need a clarifying shampoo oftentimes the conversation of the suave daily clarifying comes up because people are looking to clarify the silicone buildup from their hair from their pre-cg time in order to start the curly girl method so they tell you you need to do something called a final wash which is using a shampoo that contains silicones one final time in an attempt to remove all those silicones in your hair and start the curly girl method brush here's the problem with that the curly girl method is all about avoiding sulfates and even though it says clarifying the way that this shampoo clarifies your hair is with sodium laurel sulfate which is a sulfate it is extremely harsh sulfates are far too harsh far too strong for our very delicate hair not only does it remove all forms of buildup it's going to remove the sebum that your scalp produces which is there to protect and nourish and moisturize your hair and scalp now the reason we tell you not to use this is because yes we need to clarify but we need to do it sulfate free the curly girl method is all about avoiding heat, sulfates, silicones, and parabens. Those are the four no-nos. Heat, sulfate, silicones, parabens. So why on earth would you use sulfates another time just to remove the silicones? It goes against the entire method to begin with. So as time has gone on, people have been using not your mother's natural shampoos, Shea Moisture shampoos, the shampoos that you can basically use every week because they're so gentle when it comes to cleansing now as you continue your journey co-washing and using not your mother shampoos shea moisture shampoos anything along those lines that you can find in big box stores like walmart or target they're gonna lead to build up because they are not strong enough to clarify everything from your hair it's gonna clean shallowly at the surface but then it's gonna leave the buildup in your hair, even if you have silicones in there, it's going to leave it in there and that's going to cause frizz and dry and brittle hair and eventually breakage. So what you want to do is clarify with a sulfate free clarifying shampoo. Some examples of that are Kinky Curly Come Clean, Anasi Naturals. Uh, soothing mint clarifying shampoo texture ID has a clarifying curl shampoo uh, Carmela Marie has a clarifying shampoo those are a few options and the reason those are better for you as opposed to suave clarifying is because those contain anionic surfactants similar to this but they are sulfate free options meaning they don't have sodium lauryl sulfate or anything along those lines Instead, you'll find stuff like sodium C14, C16 olefin sulfonate. While that sounds like a sulfate, it's not a sulfate. It is just a strong anionic surfactant that is sulfate free, which is able to clarify your hair in the way that it should. So suave daily clarifying is never, ever, ever acceptable. You never need to do a final wash to start the curly girl method. You simply need a sulfate free clarifying shampoo like Kinky Curly Come Clean or a Nasty Natural Soothing Mint Clarifying Shampoo to remove all the buildup of products, silicones, and all those other things. So I really hope you guys understand, even if you're using it once in a blue moon and you say, oh, a final wash every now and then it's not that bad, it is. Curly hair is naturally dry. Because our texture does not allow the sebum in our scalp to move all the way down, we are left with dry, 
hair that is susceptible to breakage and split ends. So even if, let's say, you're doing everything else right, you're deep conditioning every week and you're using products, but you decide, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna use this once a month, I'm going to clarify with sulfates once a month, you're continually getting into a habit of exposing your hair to very harsh detergents that are too rough for the hair it's going to clean everything out to the point that it's going to leave your hair incredibly dry and brittle and eventually you're going to have breakage and trust me nobody wants that all you have to do instead of paying i believe it's like three dollars in walmart for this big thing if you splurge for i think it's eight dollars for five more dollars you can get a sulfate free clarifying shampoo which will clean the scalp and hair as thoroughly as possible without leaving it super super dry like the daily clarifying will so i hope you guys understand the dangers of using sulfates please once you start the curly girl method or are planning to start the curly girl method please do it with a sulfate free clarifying shampoo and then you can go on with your regular co-washing or not your mother's natural shampoos shea moisture shampoos anything along those lines just remember if you don't get anything else from this video the suave daily clarifying shampoo is not and has never been CG approved. You should never use this to start the CG method. You should never use this to remove buildups such as silicone buildups from non-CG products. I don't care what you did to your hair. You can color your hair with sil and with products that contain silicones and all you need is a sulfate free clarifying shampoo. This is not a sulfate free clarifying shampoo and therefore is not CG approved. So you never need to grab this and ruin your hair. So I hope this video was clear for you guys. Please make sure to check out the full article on www.redcarpetcurls.com. It is currently up now. And it is the same title as this video. Why Suave Daily Clarifying is not CGN. So make sure you are subscribed to redcarpetcurls.com. That article will be available in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. Make sure you are hitting the like button for this video. Please make sure you are subscribed to this channel as I put in a lot of work to make sure all of the science is right for you guys. And more than that, please make sure you're using the right products. If you have any questions at all, please, you can comment them here. You can send me an email at contactredcarpetcurls at gmail.com. I'm always here to help you out with all of your CG related questions. So I hope you guys have a great curl day. Love you guys very much.